True with Guns of America, we are at SHOT Show 2024. We are at the Armasite booth, and I've got Steve here, and he is going to run us through the latest, greatest products from Armasite that they're announcing, and that are either out now or coming yes. later this spring. Absolutely. So which one of these do you want to start with? Well, uh, let's start with the Psychic. And okay. again, I appreciate you guys stopping oh, by. And of course. I enjoy doing these with you. Uh, the Psychic, we have it available in uh, two versions, the 320 and, two, and 640. Uh, Armor Core 12 Micron proprietary core that okay. we uh, manufacture ourselves. Uh, the 640 version has a 19 millimeter adjustable focus uh, objective. The 320 version has a 9.1 millimeter uh, objective, but it's fixed. Okay. It has a really nice wide field of view. It's a 1X, so you can actually ah. mount it on your head uh, with a helmet like so, and yep. uh, be able to walk around, not stumble, see uh, obstacles, targets. Uh, we've been getting a lot of positive reviews on these. 60 hertz, so there's no latency. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could pan and tilt and scan and walk and you know, do all the things you want to do at night and uh, be really functional and alert and, uh, and stable on your feet while doing those things. The unit comes um, in several configurations in terms of battery options. So you could do one battery. We ship it, all, we ship it with a battery extender as well. Okay. So you could fit two CR123s, which will give you about five and a half hours. With one battery, it's about a one and a half hours. Okay. You could also put a 16650 battery in there, uh, rechargeable and uh, you know, as you need right, to swap. Right. You also have a USB-C cable, which is uh, two parts. You could use it for uh, downloading video or right. still images that the unit captures on its internal hard drive, as well as you can run a power bank from your helmet, back of your helmet so as a counterweight, unlimited, and unlimited, unlimited juice as much, as okay. much of uh, amperage you have okay. on your uh, power bank. Okay. Has, um, Digital zoom, of course, video recording, uh, multiple color palettes, uh, whatever you, you know, prefer. Yeah. We have several. Yep. So a really nice, lightweight, so, ergonomic unit. It's about 210 grams. Yeah, that's really light. So guys, the, the hot setup right now for hog hunting, for playing games in the dark with your gun is to mount one of these on your helmet, run it like you do night vision. Um, some guys, in fact, one of our riders has even done some stuff with this where we, um, they're actually running with a PBS 14 side by side. And what's weird is that when it's true one power like this one is, they, they will actually, um, your eyes get to where they overlay them yeah. naturally. Th that's what we have right here. Yeah, so there you go. Like a PBS 14 and one of these. Right. Your eyes naturally overlay them so you're getting thermal and night vision. At the same time, it's really trippy to think about because one eye is seeing thermal, one eye is seeing night vision, and um, it's, it works. It's it's like a super power. It is a super power. <laughs> the cool thing about this, another f feature I uh, didn't mention, actually two, is you could use it in, uh, in your hand to, to scan, but when you flip it upside down, right, the buttons and everything are, are on the bottom, the GUI, it auto-rotates 180 ah, degrees, so nice. all your iconology is right side up. So you're not having to read text upside down. Exactly, or okay, exactly. Nice. Good touch. All right, so when is this gonna be available? It's available right now and we're shipping. Okay, and what's the price? 640 is 32.99, uh, 320 is 22.99. Okay, and do you guys have like a detection range sort of rating that you're putting out on this? Um, because it's 1X, it's field of view, it's meant to be kind of walking. Uh, I wanna say recognition would be probably 150, 180 yards away. Okay. Det uh, det I'm, Detection is much further. Yeah, detection. yeah. I mean, look, I, I know like one of the the uh, one of the ones I played with before from Armasai. They were saying detection's like two thousand yards, but when it came right down to it, it was like, hey, you could see a jet airplane flying through the air at night at you know thirty thousand feet or right. five miles away. You know, right, so, right, right. Yeah, it really depends on what we're talking about. All right, so this is cool. Tell us what this is. This is our uh, thermal clip on the jockey. Uh, it's going to be available later on uh, this year, probably toward the end of spring. It's called the Jockey? The Jockey. So we name all our products based on uh, like a work function, like the Jockey as you're riding the horse, sidekick <laughs> as a sidekick, the collector, the contractor. Because there's a clip on, it's a yeah, Jockey now. Exactly. I got it. I'm, I'm seeing where you're going with this, okay. So, so we have a, a, you know, a reason for our madness. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so tell me the specs on the jockey here. So we have again available in uh, 640 or, or 320, 12 micron armor core, proprietary core, um, with 1X Unity for clip on, of course. Quick detach mount is standard, two CR123s or 16650, okay. a battery for about five and a half hours. So, that's so similar sort of thing as what we just Yes, very about. easy, very ergonomic, three button configuration. Nice. Um, easy to navigate, uh, onboard video recording, of course. Uh, you know, we try to make a best uh, cu customer experience sure. possible. Make sure. it very simple, very easy to use, and have great performance. So now, is this clip on? Obviously, you have a rail under here for clipping onto a rail in right. front of an optic. But is it, do you have any solution for if you have like a hunting rifle without an optic, or is that not a thing yet? It's not a thing yet for us. Okay, no, so. that's fine. I just wondered. Right, right. No, no. So this would be perfect in front of like a one to four yeah. or a like one an to LPVO. six power. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. You know, you're just going to clip that right in front on your AR. This right. is actually surprisingly light. Have it's, you seen the one from Flare? It's like a brick. Oh yeah, some of them are very large. Yes. <laughs> in fact, they're so big that by the time you try and reach out to reach the focus, you, like, can't, you can't yeah. even reach them. Right, right. Right, and and so I'm guessing this is a polycarbonate housing. Uh, I believe it's Ultim. Okay. Uh, it's like well, PBS really, 14. It's really durable. It's really light though, so yeah. it's not you know yeah it's gonna it's not gonna add a ton of weight out on your handguard. You know your scope's just gonna mount right in. It just twists off. That's just a oh, protective cap. Oh, I got you. So yeah, you're gonna line this up with your the end of your objective on your scope. This is gonna be your focus right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you can reach your menu buttons and all that. It's a nice little unit. So, price point on this? I, the 640, I believe, is about, um, if I'm not wrong, $57.99, something like that. Okay. That's retail. Yeah, of course. Okay. And then what do we have here, the last one? The last one is similar to this family of products, but it's a mini dedicated thermal weapon site. This is the collector. So it's great for Crossbow, SBR, 300 blackout, something that's uh, closer range within 100, 150 yards where you don't have long distances um, like uh, farmland, wooded areas, but you still want that thermal capability of detection and being able to see through fog, visual obstructions like haze, light foliage. Um, sure. And so, um When's this going to be available? Uh, a, bit, a little bit, uh, beginning of spring, probably a March time frame. Okay, and what's the price point on that going to be? Uh, it's going to be a little bit cheaper than the Jockey, some more, if I'm not mistaken, are around uh, 4800 or so, give or take. Okay, now do all three of these, I mean, we've talked about all three of them, do all three of these have video recording and yes, stuff like that? Yes, all of them have video recording. Okay, so and, and there's a, we talked about USB-C on them. Yeah. Yeah, the, all three of them have that. There's the ability to pull your files off. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good features, uh, really good stuff. So let's just address this real quickly. There right. is a lot of Chinese thermals in the American market right, right now, right? Like a lot of them, and we're hearing about more every day. Where are these actually made? In our Tempe, Arizona facilities. This is a design, build, and um, manufacture in, a, in the U.S. Okay, and the actual thermal core that you're using, where's that made at? In the U.S., because it, we actually make our own core. We use Linrad sensors. We in, install in our own proprietary core, which we call Armor Core, and we build the system around it. Okay, so this this is not something that you're importing from China, no. and, and, and then you're gluing it together here or something no. like that. This is an American-made product. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, there's the story on that. Uh, Armor site quality. Uh, the three newest products that they've got here at SHOT Show. Yeah. So Steve, we appreciate you running us through the details on those. Uh, always good to see you and uh, we look forward to getting some of these in for full reviews. Uh, the nice thing is because these have video, we can go out and actually capture some yes. and show people what we see with them and Absolutely. Uh, we'll have that coming. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you see the other cool stuff we have coming from SHOT Show. Will you give these guys Ar Armasite's website so they can uh, read Sir more easy. if they want Armasite. to? Armasite.com. Check us out. Okay. We'll see you on the next video.